Now, next to home automation, I think there's another area where we have lots of devices that annoy the heck out of us. Yeah? At least me. Yeah? And that's your comfort room at work. Yeah? I don't know. If you've ever tried to connect your laptop to the presenting whatever device that you have, yeah, or find a printer, yeah, and that's why meetings always start 10 minutes late. It's mostly because you have to connect your, your laptop, you have to dial into the conference system where you then have to first actually open up your laptop because you have to find the ID and then type the ID, do it five times wrong. I know, it's a nightmare. Yeah, and it's not just that, it's also the devices on your desk. Yeah, much of the devices on my desk. I always need to use multiple devices. When is the meeting starting? You know, you have to grab over my phone. I'm not using a phone. You know, really, do I have to use the phone for this particular case? No. And so we've been thinking then about if voice is this natural way of interacting in your home and home automation and things like that, why don't we build something that you can actually use at work as well? And so I'm uh, very happy to announce today that we're launching Alexa for Business, yeah? which, uh, <laughs> which is a fully managed service for having many Alexa devices at work to manage them, to manage the users, to manage unique skills that you may have at your work, um, both generic skills for depending on the devices that you have as well as maybe skills that are uniquely developed for your business itself. So, of course, one of the first places where, uh, where we've been working on is making sure that Alexa works really well in conference rooms. So there's been integration with, uh, um, with uh, Cisco and Creston and Polycom. They've all have the integration with their conferencing system so that you no longer ever have to type in a conference ID. You just say, hey, Alexa, start a meeting because you know which room you're in, and you know which meeting should be taking place there. Also, integration with all sorts of other devices in and around your, your conference room. You have that have your administrators have set up Alexa to actually really make use of all the devices there. Uh, you can dim the lights, you can lower the blinds. All these kind of things are suddenly available for you in your workplace. Or there's a great startup called Team. They uh, do conference room management. Um, and you can, the integration with Alexa for work, for business, with team allows you to quickly find another conference room, if the one that you're in is too small, or maybe it's occupied with another team. Also at your desk, so it's not just in the conference room, at your desk, you can now have Alexas as well, of the Echoes as well. Um, and you can do the usual things that you can also do in the conference room, join my meeting, call this individual. And the cool thing is that we actually give you a mechanism to merge your home Alexa environment with your Alexa for Business at work, meaning that you have access to all the private skills that you've set up for your own use. You can actually make use of those at your work as well. So you immediately get all your Spotify and Yamis on music and things like that on your Echo device at work as well. Meetings are an important part of our business. So there is integration which Alexa already had with Office 365 and G Suite. And now starting today, we also have support for on-premise exchange uh, for all Alexa for business users. And so you can actually get access to all your calendaring and scheduling and meetings and things like that. Yeah? Also integration with a lot of other uh, well-known software providers or service providers at work. Ring Central has uh, PBXs, so you can have, get access to your voicemail and things like that integration with Salesforce, so you can ask questions against it. Uh, Concur, which probably holds your flight information and your reimbursement software. Um, if you use SuccessFactor for HR, there's skills that integrate with that. Splunk has built a number of great skills, uh, such that you can actually access your, your uh, Splunk environment that runs in EC2 to actually ask questions against it using voice. Of course, at AWS, we've done it as well, so you can get access to things like CloudWatch and other, other information. Uh, Acumatica is a, a software's cloud-based ERP system that you can actually query for your voice. So it's interesting. You, know, you now have access to all these software pieces where you no longer need to go to web pages or anything like that. You can just use your voice to access them. 
And it's beyond just, let's say, just the office environment. Uh, the Wynn, the luxury hotel that sits a bit further down the strip, actually is putting echoes in each and every one of the rooms in their hotel. Yeah, and so, and with a whole set of private skills that actually really allow you to access all the capabilities of the room. So you can use voice to actually play music, to lower the blinds, to set the temperature, to control the TV. All these things now have a natural interface instead of that you have to run around with five different remotes to get these things done. So the service that we built in AWS um, is mostly uh, sort of the management side of things, where you can provision and manage these devices. You know who is actually using which device. You can configure the, the conference rooms, you know, access them from there, uh, manage users, assign skills, which users are allowed to use which skills. You can build your own skills and extend that to which are unique for your business. And so there's a, a growing number of partners that built these skills for you, um, as well as that we see already a growing community of actually companies that are already putting these uh, devices to work. So WeWork is interesting because they, are, uh, they have these, all these co-working spaces around the world. Um, they're putting uh, echoes in all of the conferencing rooms that they have. Voynich, the same thing, 25 offices around the US. Um, where they actually place the Echo devices, and they're big Chime users, both themselves internally as well as for their, their, their customers. And so the integration between voice and Chime is important there as well. 